covering every county. This is your statewide newscast, Arkansas Today. NBC News airing a special report right now of Michael Cohen testifying before Congress. As we bring you your local headlines, you can still watch the hearing as it will be streaming live on our website right now. Good afternoon and thanks for watching Arkansas Today. I'm Mallory Brooks. Police have arrested a suspect in Oklahoma connected to an early morning shooting that happened in Fayetteville. That shooting happened this morning on Bedford Loop. Authorities say one person was shot. According to Sequoia County Sheriff Larry Lane, Lee Massey was arrested in Oklahoma. Police have not released the extent of the victim's injuries. Two Fayetteville homes destroyed in a Tuesday afternoon fire. That fire broke out at a duplex on East Huntsville Road. Fayetteville Fire Chief Willie Watts says it began in the right unit and caused heavy smoke damage to the left unit. He says both homes are a total loss. A neighbor noticed the flames and reported the fire. I just happened to be walking by the window and I noticed the neighbor's house was up in flames, uh, so I just called 911. I've never experienced anything like that before. Uh, it kind of shocked me when I first saw it. Chief Watts says no one was home at the time of the fire and at this time a cat and dog are unaccounted for. State legislators have filed a bill requesting funding to clean up the Trafalgar Road fire in Bella Vista. On Monday, State Senators Jim Hendren and Bart Hester filed Senate Bill 406 along with Representatives Austin McCollum and Gayla Hendra McKenzie. The $20 million funding would come from the Hazardous Substance Remedial Action Trust Fund and help the Arkansas Department of Environmental Quality with waste cleanup. This bill will be in budget committee on Thursday. I'll present it to the joint budget committee. Um, the governor's office supports it. Uh, nobody likes trying to shake that kind of money out of the budget, but they also realize that this is a health hazard to the people of Arkansas. And the Trafalgar Road fire is also known as the stump dump in northwest Arkansas. The loan is expected to be repaid to the Budget Stabilization Trust Fund by June 30th of 2023. Springdale Public Schools creating an ethics code following the controversy of a Harbor High School publication. That student media now has 13 pages of new rules to follow in a draft form created by students and teachers together to foster a better understanding of what it means to be an ethical journalist. Trent Jones, the director of media at Springdale Public Schools, says this is the first time things like responsibility, accuracy, and accountability have been physically outlined. It comes after an article published by students at Harbor High School caused their entire newspaper to be suspended. A brand new library is now open to the public in Hempstead County. The $2.5 million facility features an extra 5,000 square feet compared to the old facility, which was built in the 40s. There's also a wall of windows to let in natural light. Library officials say everyone that comes in, they are overwhelmed with the vast new space. I love it. I could, I could just sit here all day. Big, big difference. We all, I grew up in that old library, and it's very hard to give it up. But when I walked in here, I thought, this is going to be great. The old library is scheduled to be torn down next week. With a smile and a handshake, the second summit between President Trump and Kim Jong-un is underway. The two leaders meeting for a short greeting and photo op before heading behind closed doors for about 30 minutes of private talks. President Trump praising his relationship with Kim, but also saying these talks can't be rushed. It's still not clear if Kim is willing to give up his nuclear program or what he might ask for in return. Some people would like to see it go quicker, um, satisfied, dissatisfied. We want to be happy with what we're doing. But I thought the first summit was a great success. There have been some misunderstandings. There have been, you know, these eyes from the world who are misunderstanding the situation, and there was some hostility that still remained. After the one-on-one -on -one meetings, the two leaders met for dinner with the president striking an optimistic tone about the prospects for a major agreement with Kim Jong-un. Tomorrow, we are expecting a series of expanded talks as well as another possible one-on-one -on -one between President Trump and Un. Well, here's a look at the day ahead. Members of the House set to vote on legislation that will tighten background checks for gun purchases. President Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, is publicly testifying right now before the House Oversight Committee. Cohen is expected to give an insight into President Trump's private business transactions as well as the early stages of his presidency. And transgender troops and President Trump administration officials will be testifying before Congress. The two groups will be speaking out on the transgender service policy and answering any questions.
Taking a look back at today in history, 1827, the people of New Orleans strutted in the streets celebrating Mardi Gras for the very first time. The Mardi Gras or Fat Tuesday celebrations and traditions said to have been first brought across the Atlantic Ocean from early French settlers. New Orleans has the biggest and most grand Mardi Gras celebrations here in the U.S. Coming up, the Hogs fought hard but couldn't bring it down to Red Hot Kentucky. Highlights from last